One of the most underused features of creating blocks in AutoCAD is creating dynamic blocks. And one of the dynamic blocks kind of options that you have is to create an array. And in design, there's so many opportunities for using this and just making it where your drawings are so much speedier, so much more efficient and really getting things out consistently and quickly. So I'm gonna show you how to create an array dynamic component of a block. And to do this, we're going to use a couple of examples. So first, I'm going to show you just a really typical application. So kind of how maybe a brick in section and then you have the, um, the, the mortar and then making it where it kind of carries all the way up and you can actually just easily draw all the bricks that you are going to need to draw a wall section, for example. Another one we can, we're going to look at is actually looking at how you could use it for, say, a shelf. So a shelf that, you know, you might use a lot and you want to make sure you can have adjustments of using it where there's one shelf, two shelves, three shelves, and so on. And then finally, we're going to look at how we could do it where we have like a ser series of books like this and we can actually just make it where this is adjustable and we can stretch this over uh, depending on how many we need to fill a shelf so to speak. So let's get started. So first things first I'm going to start with this brick and I'm going to select it all and I'm going to press B. Enter and I'm just going to say brick section and I'm going to choose my base point and we're gonna just choose that corner and then okay. So there we have it. So BE is now gonna let us edit this block. And it's opened in the other window, sorry. Okay, and now we have our lovely block of basically just a brick with some mortar. So to create the dynamic component, we first need to give it a linear element. So I'm gonna actually just draw a distance and with two grips so basically all I did was click click and press enter of the bottom of the brick to the top of this mortar now what I'm gonna do is go to this um, button which is just the actions and I'm gonna do array so right now it's asking me to select a parameter and because I went ahead and did this distance I can just click select that now I need to select the object, so select all those objects, press enter, and now I need to select the distance between the columns. And this is when I'm just going to go from here to there. And basically, we're done. So close block editor, save those changes, and now we can see there's a lovely little arrow here that we can then click and drag to create our perfect stack of bricks in section. So let's show how easy that is on this bookshelf as well. So, okay, let's say B and we're just gonna call it shelf. And again, pick that point and B E so we can go in and edit the block. Okay. Now this one's going to be a bit different because we don't have that other point already there. And so basically you can do this in a couple ways. You can just kind of draw yourself a little guideline to say how tall you really want your shelf to be typically, or you can just kind of draw it, but I'm going to go ahead and do a guideline. So I want there to be from the top of one shelf to the top of another shelf. Um, I'm in millimeters right now. So there we go. Something like that. And now I'm going to use this to create my linear parameter. And now what I'm going to do is actually delete that guideline. And let's do an array. So we've selected our line and select our objects. Press enter, distance between, and we're done. Again, close block editor save the changes. Now we have these lovely arrows and we can just pull up however many shelves we need. Now the last instance I'm going to do this for is these bookshelves or these books to go on shelves. 
So these are really basic. You could certainly give them a little bit more detail, round some edges, things like that. But basically, if I just select these, create a block, and let's give it a corner, and select BE, and again, we're going to do a horizontal one this time. Select that parameter, select the objects, press enter, and then just draw the line from here to there. And close, save those changes, and suddenly we have a beautiful block that we can then stretch along however we want it to be. So this can be really handy because if you can see, you know, put it on this shelf, I could actually move it around and actually fill a whole shelf of books with real real ease just because I've made it where it's a dynamic block that has the ability to array so I hope that helps and let me know in the comments what other applications you can imagine for creating a dynamic block with an array. If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching!